Hey everybody, George Lugo Jr. here from Queens, New York, and I have a question. Do you have shiny object syndrome? Do you find yourself every 20 minutes looking the other way and finding another opportunity? Are you distracted with all the opportunities that are in the internet? Understand that there's five, there's over 5,000 network marketing direct sales companies out there. So how do you focus on one? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to stay focused on your opportunity or if you should even shift. So tip number one, ask yourself, do you require income in 30 days or less? Think about that for a minute. If you're inside of a network marketing company or direct sales business, do you require an income in 30 days? Now, I've learned this from my good friend Ray Higdon. He said, your success is derived around what you did before network marketing. You're either punished or rewarded for what you did prior to network marketing. Now, I'm going to get into that in my second or third tip. I'm going to get into that later and really break that down. But understand that it is possible to earn income inside of network marketing in less than in 30 days, sometimes less. It's designed that way. You can. But typically, typically the average person would not accrue any income the first 30 days of their business. Oh, I know you're probably saying, what? What? Is that possible? That's, that's the truth. If, you, if you're brand new to the industry and someone has told you that you're going to make money in your first week, it's possible. Depending what network marketing company you're with, maybe you're part of an affiliate marketing company, maybe it's possible. You make a sale, you get paid next week. But in network marketing, we're talking. I'm referring to residual income. 30 days? No. I, I hate to burst your bubble, but I mean, think about this for a minute. We work for a company. You know, we work for a boss to build their dreams. And it's okay to get paid every single week and struggle. And after 10 years, have nothing to show for it. Nothing in the bank. Nothing to show for it. Okay? Very accumulative, very slow accumulative raise, if any, if any raise at all, or even a layoff. Yet you start a business and want an income in 30 days. Really? Think about that for a minute. And I really want to pick on this one big because a lot of people get into this business thinking that they're going to be rich in 30 days. They're going to get $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month in 30 days. Really, if you're thinking like that, either change or just get out. You really shouldn't be in network marketing because that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. You know, you work for a company 10 years and you build up slowly, 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 slowly to the income that you have right now. So what makes you think you start a business? I mean, think about a brick and mortar business. Okay, they're in debt the first day they open and it takes five years to get out of it typically. And if they're not out of that, that threshold within five years, they close and they go out of business. That's how a business works. But people you know, hype up network marketing and they feel that within 30 days you're going to make money with zero investment. If you have that mentality, then that's the reason why you're probably looking at every shiny object that comes out in network marketing. Every 20 minutes there's something on Facebook or Twitter or any social network there's somebody promoting something new. Hey, this new launch, this new launch. If that's you, then you need to either change your mindset or focus. The reason why most people fall in the shiny object syndrome is because they're too, they're too focused on looking at what's new out there. Oh, we got to get in now. If you are the type of person that is, I got to get in now, or I'm going to miss out, you're, you have that syndrome and there's a way to fix it. The next one you have to ask yourself is, do you find yourself looking at just comp plans alone? <laughs> I've seen that so many times. If you're looking at a compensation plan just by itself and not looking at the product, not looking at the company, not doing your due diligence, you are really missing out. You have shiny object syndrome. Stop. 
Don't look just at the compensation plan. Look beyond that. Look at the product. See if that's something that you'll actually use. You know, look at the company. How long they've been around. Or if they're new, who's in it? Do some research. If you're looking just for the money, you're not going to last in this business. You have shiny object syndrome. The easiest way to get out is not to look at just the compensation plan. Now, there's some compensation plans that pay big, but if you're into that, oh, which one's the 150% payout? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Okay? Because those. Those companies, although they're very good companies, if you just look at the compensation plan, you're going to find yourself struggling. You're going to find yourself struggling. You're going to look at something else. And you're going to look at something else. And last is, what is your passion? You know, I learned a long time ago, do what you're passionate about and the money will come. You'll get paid. Do what you're passionate about and the money will come. Inside of network marketing is a team of people helping other people succeed. And that's how we get paid. That's how you can build up your passion. If your passion is not to help other people, then stay in affiliate market or stay out. You just get a job. Again, this, this video is very abrupt. It's very straightforward. So I'm going to give you straight talk. You know, um, And just to break down what Ray Higdon said, you know, your success is determined on what your life was before network marketing. You either punished or rewarded what you did before network marketing. So what does he mean by that? If you, before getting into network marketing, affiliate marketing, internet marketing, whatever, if you're the type of person that's all about the money, 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 when you go talk to your friends and family, when you talk to anybody that knows you, they're going to say, ah, this guy is out for my wallet. This person is not successful. They're, in, they're into everything. You know, every time I look at him, he's doing something else. He's doing something else. Okay? Think about that. Look at your life before network marketing. That's what was Ray, what Ray was talking about. Now, you have those people that are very successful that are stuck on one thing. I'm not saying they have to be involved in one thing. That's another video. But if you're involved in one thing and you stay focused, people will follow you. And if you were like that before network marketing, people will follow you. So if you ask those three questions to yourself and you stay away from that, you stay away from those, okay? If you are like those and you are willing to change, you will have, you will get out of the shiny object syndrome. So if this video has brought you some value, Go ahead and comment and share. I always appreciate that. And if you're like me, inside of network marketing, always looking for tips and strategies on how to build your business online, visit my blog at georgelugojr.com. Enter your name, email, and phone number to the right of the screen, and you'll get weekly invites hosted by my good friends, six, seven, eight-figure income earners teaching you how to build your business online. With that being said, this is George Lugo Jr. from Queens, New York, signing off. I'll see you in the next one.